One of the goals of this project was to bring back high quality video of the cave system and particularly of the Wakula room and Jill's chamber. Many of our previous dives into the pit had been recorded, but we never really had a series of dives that was focused only on recording video. So the purpose of the next few days is just to get some great images and video of the inside of the Wakula room. Today, we're going to be diving in the Rakula room, so it's going to be Peter, Alex, and myself. Tony will be doing the filming using a camera that Nauticam supplied to us. So today is our first day shooting the Sony A7 camera. We're going to give it a test shot and uh, see how it goes. One of the issues we face when shooting in the pit, uh, the cave system is so large, it's hard to light and even harder to film. To help with this, ReFoto and Video supplied us with a Sony A7S camera and a Nauticam housing. The distance of the Wakula room is far enough that we need to scooter it. It's possible to swim it, but because it's deep, the decompression really restricts how much time we have to film in there. Dive 1 was Oliver and I testing the cameras and lights mounted on the scooters. Operating a scooter that's not properly weighted and balanced is very difficult, and on extreme depths in a cave, very dangerous. Today was to uh, rehearse a little bit the equipment and dive with the scooters, use the lights. I was most concerned about the camera being too heavy for the scooter and affecting its trim, but it looks like we got it sorted out with some buoyancy floats. So we'll see the footage when we get back, but it looks pretty good so far. So the shakedown went well, the camera performed well, the scooters are trimmed and balanced, and we are ready to shoot in Wakula. So we assemble in the basin, everybody gears up, and we enter the Guardia Passage. At the start of the main line, every team member drops a line marker. We then begin our descent down the Guardia Passageway through the hydrogen sulfide layer. About 700 feet in, we encounter the first restriction at a depth of around 280 feet. The restriction is really a tunnel that's about 70 feet long. And once we clear that, we're in the Wakula room. Once the team entered the Wakula room, the divers with the scooters began remotely lighting while I shot from various positions. I'd have to say that uh, normally I'd be nervous to be 250 feet deep, 1,000 feet back in a cave, and separated from my team, but you sort of get lost in the beauty of the cave. It's really amazing how big this room is, and even with these super powerful Keldan lights, it, it only lights up a small portion of it. The room just looked incredible uh, with these lights and uh, it was just breathtaking. There was one point where I was scootering behind Peter, Claudia, and Alex and I was just amazed at what I was seeing. What we captured on video doesn't do it justice. It was amazing to see in person and uh, I was really reluctant to leave when, uh, when our turn time hit. I don't think anybody wanted to leave. When we finally did turn the dive, we made our way back through the restriction and exited up through the Guardia Passage and started our deco in the cavern zone.
So we just finished the dive into the Wakula room. Well, we believe we got some very good video <laughs> with the Sony camera, and uh, we're gonna go back and check it out and see how it came out. But overall, I think it was a fantastic video dive in Wakula. So.